June is just a great time of the year to be on the water. But you know, there's a lot of other things going on too. There's graduation parties, there's kids and sports, and I'm sure you've got a to-do list at home just like I do. There is a way to get out on the water though. I'm on a metro area lake just about a half hour away from my house and there's some great bass fishing here. But there's tips and tricks to catching fish on high pressured lakes like this. We're gonna show you how to catch them this week on the water. This guy was just laying right on the edge of that cover. You know, the key to catching these fish, especially on these pressured lakes like this, is to find areas where there's deep water nearby. And right out here is the deepest part of the lake. But then there's also thick, thick cover here. And this guy was laying right up on the edge. And you know, he's not a giant, but he's a good way to start the day. But when you come out here and you look for locations to fish, when you're in a situation where you're on a pressured lake like I'm on today, and yesterday there were probably 30 boats going up and down here, you can see how thick these weeds are. Those fish will tuck right up in there. And part of the reason they do that is because of the boat pressure. But the other part is there's food up in there. So if they stay up tight on that edge, they're gonna be able to get a lot of stuff blown into them. And you can see we've got just a little bit of ripple. Now yesterday and the day before when I came out here and played around a little bit, I was able to catch them out a little bit off the edge. I can't today. I've gotta to be right up in the thick of it or else I'm not getting them. right in the middle of that mess. That just goes to show you, you just gotta go straight into it. This, this is a big bass right here. The, the big thing here is just getting him winched out. Got him. Once you get him clear of that stuff, you'll get him in the boat. I'm actually gonna net this guy. But you know, one of the things, look at that guy. <laughs> one of the things that is just so cool about what we're doing is the strike zone is small. There's not a lot of room for to get that strike. So when I cast out, I don't let that bait sit there long. I just hit the water with that. Wait till you see this largemouth. This guy's a dandy, look at that. That's just a horse for a metro area lake. And that's what you gotta keep in mind. We're fishing fish that are fished every single day. And that's what's cool, there's still fish like this in these lakes you just got to adapt and figure out how to catch them let me get the boat turned here and then i want to show you how i'm rigging this worm up because this yum dinger is the key to catching these fish and the way i'm rigging them up is very very important let's get this guy unhooked that's a dynamite largemouth right there let me show you what i'm doing with this dinger all i'm doing there's two different ways you can hook it you know sometimes you can come into areas like this and you can rig it wacky style. And all that is, is simply hooking it right in the middle and letting it hang in an upside down T. And you can just flip in there and be in your fish in just little tiny spots, you can get away with that. But what I'm having to do today, because these fish are so tight in the cover, is I'm just hooking it weedless. And all you do is you go through the top there, you bring it up that hook, and then you turn it and just slide that hook in. And that's all you gotta do right there. And then I'm just throwing it out, I'm letting it sink, and I pop it one time. If I catch a fish, great. If I don't, I bring it back in and I pick another spot and I just keep flipping and flipping. You're not in the strike zone long, so there's no use swimming this thing all the way back to the boat. Hit that spot and get it back in. You get back in another spot and you'll keep catching fish. Look at that guy, that's awesome. Got him. 
boy, this guy just came rocketing out of this weed bed. There's a there's another little pile of weeds here that we pulled out to fish. It's adjacent to the same shoreline that we've been pulling all these fish off of all morning. Let's see if we can get this guy in here. Boy, he's just, he dug himself down in the weeds. We'll get him in here. Boy, you know, you get on spots like this though and it's just a ball because you can pretty well predict these fish. I was able to cast in at these weeds and pretty much know exactly where I needed to be. It's another great largemouth. You know, one of the things I wanna point out about what we're doing today too, is you really don't need to have a whole lot of specialized equipment. I'm using a six foot, six inch medium action fast tipped rod and that's really all you need. I'm using 20 pound braid and I'm using a spinning reel and a lot of guys are saying that you should be using a bait caster with this. You know what, if you've got a bait caster and you're comfortable casting it, go ahead and do it. But if not, go ahead and cast a spinning reel. There's nothing wrong with it. Just crank that drag down so that when you get a fish in the weeds like this guy was, you can actually winch him right out of there real quick. Fishing a yum dinger like I was telling you earlier, I'm using a one out or a two out hook and I'm not even using a weight here. And the main reason for that is I'm pulling all these fish out of one and two feet of water and that thing is actually, that dinger is actually just kind of floating down and they're grabbing it when it floats down. So when I make that cast, I just let it sink, they whack it and you stick them right away. Simple as that. That's a lot of fun right there. I was another one of those fish right up tight. You know, that seems to have been the whole theme today is just get up tight. That's another great, great large mouth. Flip him in here. You know, he's not as giant as, as that bigger one we got earlier today, but boy, he's fun to catch. You know, the theme I was saying though, is you just gotta be up there shallow. And I mean, I got a pitch right on the edge of those weeds. And when I do that, I can catch them. Now, you know, the water temps are up to 76 degrees and it's just beautiful. I mean, you look at today, this is how the whole week is supposed to be. In fact, we're gonna see some 90s later this week. These fish should just continue to get more aggressive. They're off their beds, the spawn's all done. They're all just getting going now. And that's why they're up in here. There's a little bit of wind coming in here and they're eating in here. So if you can find a spot like this, and, and this is available on any metro area lake. There's all kinds of lakes that have weed growth all over. And this lake's got a lot of different weeds. This has milfoil or the weeds I'm fishing today. But find something that's thick where these fish can sit in there and then ambush bait and cast right to the edge of it. And you'll catch plenty of fish this week. Weather forecast looks great. Stable weather all week. I think the water's going to finally really warm up because it doesn't look like we're going to get any rain. Get out on the water. There's a whole bunch of these to catch. Boy, that was another great day on the water. You know, there's opportunities like this right outside your back door. Go out and take advantage of some of them. The keys to the catch today, we're putting that bait within one foot of that weed line. Those bass are all holed up back in them weeds. And if you're not in there tight, you're not gonna catch them. And they're not gonna chase stuff out. The other thing was I used a bait that stayed in that weed line. And what I mean was, by pitching a worm, I didn't have to crank it back fast. I could let it just actually sink it. I could twitch it a couple times. Once I was outside of that magic foot, I could just reel it in and cast right back to another spot. For more current and up-to-date information, check back next week. I'm John Thielen. We'll catch you on the water. <laughs>